Hello. Um, Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Wang. Today, we want to look at one algorithm is to check if an array is a pre-order traversal of a binary tree. So firstly, what is binary tree? Mm, so a binary search tree is a, non, a node-based tree and a, a data structure, uh, which has the following properties. Firstly, uh, the left subtree of a node contains only the nodes with the case lesser than the uh, node k. For example, from eight, uh, the left child is all uh, lesser than eight. And then the right subtree of a node contains only the node with the k greater than the uh, node k. For example, in this um, right subtree, is all greater than eight. And the left and the right subtree uh, each must also be in a binary search tree. That means this subtree and this subtree, they are all uh, binary search tree. For example, left child always lesser than three, right child always uh, uh, greater than three, and so on. So this is the uh, binary search tree. And then what is a pre-order traversal of a binary search tree? So here um, we see uh, pre-order traversal. Pre-order traversal is used to uh, create a copy of the tree. So pre-order traversal is also used to get a prefix expression of an expression tree. And uh, so for example, the pre-order traversal tree of the above figure uh, about this tree, a binary search tree, you can see it's binary search tree with all, uh, okay, this is a little confusing because it's, uh, I think it's the ID of the binary search tree, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, the binary, the pre-order traversal of the above figure is one, three, I'm one, two, four, five, three. So it's one, two, four, five, three. So pre-order is always go to the left at first. So the algorithm is uh, uh, is like this. So when you have a tree, you first visit the root and then uh, traverse the left subtree. And then you can call the pre-order left subtree. And then you will traverse the right subtree. Then you can call the pre-order right subtree. And um, so that the uh, pre-order uh, pre uh, traversal tree, which always traversal the right and the left and the then right. Now go to this problem. So we have an array of numbers and it, we want to return true if the array can be represented as a pre-order traversal of a binary tree and uh, the expected time complexity is n, but uh, please notice that uh, uh, in this array, uh, it is the value, it's not the ID of the uh, the tree, it's the, the, the K, sometimes it's called the K. So here you can see two, four, three, and uh, this can be the pre-order traversal uh, of, the, uh, uh, of this one, it's a four, and then, uh, two, four, three, that is the uh, pre-order of the binary search tree. But this one, uh, two, four, one, okay, two, four, one, one is not, uh, uh, is not in uh, uh, a left or right uh, pre-order uh, traversal of four. Uh, it cannot be represent, present a pre-order traversal of binary tree. And another one example is here, we have an array here, and uh, uh, it can present the pre-order traversal of those, uh, the below binary search tree, we can see, okay, four at the root, and then uh, 13, 35 will be the left, and the 18 and the 100 will be the right. So that can be in a pre-order uh, traversal. So we will go directly to uh, check an uh, efficient solution, but we will start with uh, um, uh, we will start with uh, um, recursive algorithm. So uh, we can do the 
following things just like what how we built the um pre order framework so using a recurrent uh, algorithm here we can do do the checking by using the uh, similar uh, recurrent function so we can check if a given pre order framework is a validate or not for the BFT uh, without using that. So the idea is to use the similar concept of building the BFT using uh, narrowing a bound algorithm. We will recursively visit all the nodes, and, but we will not build the uh, nodes in the end. The uh, complete array is not traversed, and uh, that means that array cannot represent the pre-order Traversal of a binary tree, and uh, here we are going to um, uh, try to uh, implement it by using the uh, Python code. Okay, now let's get starting to do the coding. Firstly, uh, we are going to um, put the link here just in case in the future I don't remember what it is. And then we are going to import um, System and then uh, we will build a, an a algorithm a function called the B helper build a BFT helper and within this function we will have a, a recursive function we will call it recursively okay, let's do it build BFT helper. And uh, we will have four parameters. We will know n, we will have a pre, we will have sorry, minimum value and maximum value. And then here we will declare a global variable. Pre index and then we will see if the uh, pre uh, index uh, is bigger than our current value uh, that means uh, we it, we should not uh, uh, continue because it already knows a uh, bft because in the left is already smaller than the pre index and then uh, if um, we have two conditions. So if uh, the minimum is uh, smaller than the uh, pre uh, pre index, and uh, but it's also. Uh, Let's see. So it's bigger than the minimum and also it's smaller, smaller or equal to the max. What what it means is um we need to build a node. Okay, so the pre Pre index will be used as the root data. And then we are going to okay, move to the next pre index. And uh, okay, and then we will build the last subtree and the rest subtree using the same helper function. So we will build an three with minimum with the root data. And the similarly for the red tree will be have the max of the we will build a subtree between the root data and the max data. And uh, 
That's all for this helper function. And uh, so now we are going to build the mean function for the checker. Steph can present BFD with a array as the input with the n as the size of the array and then we would if we declare the global function free pre index and this pre index will be used across all the functions and then we will define the minimum and the max values and using the system maximize max size and system Mm -hmm. Max size. And then we will be uh building uh we will try to use this build help BFT helper to build the tree with n and a re and uh, with a minimum with maximum. And after we build it, we will check if the pre uh, index equals to n, then that means we build the tree successfully, then we re return true. Otherwise, we will just return false. Okay. And this is uh, how we uh, build the function. Uh, let's rerun the program to see if there's any error. Okay, no error reported. And then we are going to check if it can work or not. So let the pre-order reversal result is two or three. And uh, N1 is uh, calculated by the function length. And then we 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 will print the result of the can present BFD function by using a re uh, pre order one and n one. Here we have problem pre index referred before. Okay, I, I, I think we need to uh, initialize or uh, define the, the pre-index at the very beginning of the program. So um, here, we miss one important part. Now let's run the program and see what's going on here. Wrote data is not uh assigned yeah. okay so this recursive uh function should be within the if loop. Okay. We have wrong result. 
four, four, three. Mm -hmm. Let's try another one. Okay, we have something wrong here. Mm, let's have try to understand. So first we define the pre-index as the pre-index, and then here we will go in to get the minimum and the maximum is wrong, I think. Yeah. It's right. So we will assign the maximum and the minimum so that you know. The uh, at the very beginning, and then we will uh, use the BSD helper to tell the uh, the algorithm that we have n, we have a v, and we have minimum maximum, and then you need to change, you need to update this pre-index, uh, and after you you updating it, uh, if it's still uh, if if n, that means you finish the array, then you are in a um, yeah, pre-order uh, traversal of a tree. Otherwise, you just uh, couldn't finish and then you will return false. So let's go into this function. We will see, okay, here, pre-index is already being bigger than uh, n. It being bigger than n, that, that means we, failed. we couldn't build the BFT. Um, okay. And after that, uh, that, that means you are already beyond the, the tree and we are just, uh, we were just return and stop here. So in the, the pre-index, uh, it will be larger than, and then we, we, we finish. Otherwise, if your current pre-index is small, it's bigger it's between the minimum and maximum. Okay, where you're between it. Okay, it's bigger than minimum, bigger than minimum, or uh, and the, uh, and it's larger than maximum. That means uh, your pre-index, the pre-index node is still uh, uh, within the, the the reasonable range. And then we are going to say, uh, hey, um, I will uh, use you to update the the row, the data, you are, you are here in the middle and uh, we are going to move you forward. And uh, so when you move forward, um, you will carry the um, the minimum at the same. So you, you, you will uh, check the left and the, the right uh, subtree, are they still the uh, BST? And so your when you check your left tree, you will start with the minimum and uh, you, I think it's somewhere we, we get to, re to update the minimum and maximum, right? Um, so we will check the minimum between the minimum and the road and the, from the road to the maximum, both of them should be, uh, should be correct. Yeah, here, here, the here, the secret. Pre, uh, because that's a pre traversal. Let me think. Pre traversal algorithm. That means you have to. Uh, for example, we if we are already reaching the, um, the leaf. So you, when you go to the left tree, okay, um, I ask my left tree, are you all between minimum and the, the root? Because the root is the, the, the root of this subtree. 
and uh, then uh, you you will go down to further. But why? How to understand this uh, free uh, fixed plus one? Uh, Oh, I understand. So the, the, the algorithm run like this way. So whenever you reach a prefix with a you know pre uh, index here, and uh, you're going to check if it is between uh, the minimum and maximum of the, your your own subtree, and we use the minimum and the maximum to make sure that you are between the boundary because you are on the left subtree or right subtree. You cannot go uh, less. Uh, go go you can you must be less than the root if you the, the left tree and you should be larger than the the root if you the the right tree so we use the make the maximum and minimum to to uh, make sure you are uh and within this uh, uh range and uh so if you are within this range um we will go to say hey um you can go uh further to check your left tree and uh and uh, then you use this uh, minimum and root to check your left tree. But when you go to check your left tree, your left tree will, uh, your left child subtree will uh, use the same algorithm to check, okay, okay, if I'm between a minimum yourself. And again, when I go to do the checking, I will also, um, you know, check my left tree and right tree by using this. But remember, uh, because it's a free, Order traversal, so you always move forward uh, until you finish the all the left subtree, and then you move forward to all the right subtree. So that's why it works. So I think this uh this problem is uh, this uh build BST helper is perfectly defined it until you know you really uh, go beyond the the re you couldn't finish it, and then um. Uh, minimum should be, I think that's the problem probably, the code, the example code is wrong, but what, what is this two parameters? You know, sometimes the, the example code is also wrong. Let's try this. Well, now we have the correct answer. Uh, the example code here, this is wrong. This minus should be at the beginning of the uh, first variable, which is assigned to the uh, minimum. But just in case you can always put some value here, like a uh, 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 my uh, like negative infinite or here you can make it a positive infinite. But anyway, let's do the test over again with the first uh, our test key two seven uh, two four three. Uh, that should be BSD should be two. Yeah, that's true. And then um. With the second uh, array, uh, I think four, uh, here we have a secondary and we're going to test it. It's also true. Second, it actually should, it's actually fourth. But never mind. And then we will test the last one. Uh, Also true. We must have some problem here. Um, let's try to redo it over again.
So this function actually do not return anything. It just keeps updating the prefix. Ah, uh, I see. That's the problem, bro. You should, uh, every time you run the, pro the program, you should initialize the same prefix before you run the program because every it, because it's a global variable. Okay, now we should see the correct result. True for true. All good. Thank you. And uh, next uh, session, we are going to look at another algorithm to check if an array is a pre-order traversal of a binary tree, but uh, using a step. Thank you. Really hope to help. Bye bye.